I want to quickly talk to you about the components in the refill kit. Now the refill kit has three things in it. It has a drain kit, which is a draining drip tray and tubing. It has a catering kit, which is for getting water out of a water tank. And it has a plumbing kit, which is for getting water from house water. I'll quickly explain how each of these works. Now this is just a replacement drip tray. It goes on your espresso machine, just like the normal drip tray, only this one has a hole with a slight curve to it. There is a tube, which we will send to you. It is three meters long. And the way this works is the tube fits over the end here. And once it's on there, it's on there nice and tight. We also include a cable tie. If you're really paranoid, you can put a cable tie around that and that's really gonna cinch it down, but it's really optional. On the draining drip tray, you have an option to use this bendy tube. Now you'll want to do that if you've got your drip tray on a table, because if you plug this directly in, it's gonna bang in and kink. So what we've done is we've made these 90 degree molded cables and it's gonna go over the top like so. And that's food grade silicone, which is why it's so pretty. There's a barb on this end and you can connect this tube to this like this and that can go far away. However, if you've got a hole in your countertop um, or there's another way that you can have the tube go straight out, that will work better because there is a slight worry with this that coffee sediment could get caught in here or here. So the best solution is to have it drain straight down and that will plug straight in like that. If you can't do that, then plug this in the back there and get your dirty water to go out the back. Next, there's the catering kit. And the way the catering kit works is there is an ethernet cable that plugs into here and the other end plugs into the back of the espresso machine. This is an on off switch. Down is off up is on. You'll want to leave it off when you plug it in. And then on this end, you've got two tubes. The small tube goes to the back of the espresso machine. The big tube goes to your water tank. And here you can see we've given you all sorts of different wires. There's your ethernet cable. There's the small tube, which goes from here to the espresso machine. And the big tube goes to your water tank. Now you only need this if you're going to be using store-bought water or some sort of other non-pressurized water because there's a pump inside here which is going to suck water out of that source. And it'll suck water up to three meters in height difference. So you can put your water wherever it's convenient. Next is the plumbing kit. Now this is for people who have a reverse osmosis system or other kinds of filtration systems that cause pressurized water to come at your espresso machine. This comes with a different set of tubing. It has this thin tubing, which generally is called RO tubing because it comes from an RO machine. An ethernet cable, again, which will plug into the back. An on off switch here. The small cable which you can see here is going to go to your espresso machine. And we give you a cable like so, which is going to screw on to the back here. We give you two ends. These are both NPT one half. There's a male version and a female version. What you're going to find is that this is going to plug in on the end of the small tube. And once you've done that, you're going to take this little blue piece of plastic and you're going to squeeze it around so that the tube that's already in there stays shut. But when you put this tube into here, you can't have this blue piece on, otherwise it will not go in. So make sure this is not on, put the tube in, and then clip that and it shouldn't leak. We've given you both a male and a female version because we've seen both kinds all over the world. If you have any questions or you have a different kind of connector, please talk to us. Now you will also find that we have given you a particle filter with a little rubber O-ring and the way this works is that you're going to put that particle filter here like so and then this tube is going to fit over the top of that. Now you might be able to just hand tighten it and not have any leaks or you might want to use a wrench. It's up to you. This other end here is going to go to your water supply and the way this works is you're going to push it through like so and then once you've pushed it through you're going to pull it back slightly and then here you put that little washer 
over that. And that locks the whole thing in place and now this will not pull out nor leak. If you need to take that tube out, you're going to need to take this little blue thing off and then you can pull the whole thing out. If you do experience a leak here, it's very unlikely, but if you have very high pressure water, we've given you a secondary gasket. The gasket has this little particle filter on it. Now you don't need this particle filter because we've given you one already, but you're gonna put it inside here like so. And we found with some very high pressure water systems, closing this up and then tightening it really hard does cure any leakage problems. You may have noticed that there's this strange bracket here. The idea is you can put two screws in and hang this on a wall, or you can tuck this behind your espresso machine on the back there and the feet will rest. That will keep the whole thing from falling off the back. But if you don't need this panel at all, you can use a Torx T10 screwdriver and take the panel off. And if you do that, you'll have a cleaner looking chassis that looks like this so that you don't have any extra bracket on it. Finally, you have another option with this bracket. There's a slot right here and that's so if you have any sort of bent metal brackets like so, and then the whole thing will hang like so on a bracket. Once again, the drain kit, which is the drip tray with a hole and tubing, the catering kit, which gets water out of a water tank, and the plumbing kit, which lets you take water from a pressurized water source. I hope this was really useful to you, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and I'll see what I can do to help.